Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is Taylor Hobson Telescope. So basically this is an electronic instrument. So here we will discuss about the construction as well as working of the instrument. So first let us start by the diagram or the figure. So this is stylus which will move along the jaw and it is made up of diamond and the dimension is 0.002 mm that is the tip radius and this is the skid which will move along with the stylus and stylus is attached to the arm which forms the armature and this armature is pivoted at the E shaped stamping this is E shaped stamping So here you can see there is air gap okay? and the armature is pivoted on the middle leg of the E shaped stamping and on the two legs of the stamping you can see the coils and AC current is flowing through them okay? and this coils these are the coils as you can see AB this is AB and this is AC this is AC so the two coils along with the two resistors form oscillator okay and this is the carrier or the signal and this is amplifier okay where the carrier or the signal whatever is generated gets amplified and you can have here modulated or varied carrier Okay. So, the modulated carrier okay, is given by this bridge which is formed by the coils and the resistor and it is amplified and then it is feeded to the demodulator demodulator where the carrier get demodulated and smoothened so demodulated and smoothened signal okay so you get demodulated and smoothened signal which goes to the recorder which has pen recorder for recording for future references but here this recorder gives you future reference but you need to see the value of the measurement or the changes which you can have with the stylus so here you have a filter which gives you filtered waveform so that you can see the value or the reading by using this meter. So let us go through once again considering the construction as well as the working. So stylus which is made up of diamond 0.002 mm that is the tip radius it goes along the jaw with the skid and the armature is pivoted okay on the e shaped stamping which has three arms okay so one of the arm is pivoted or the touch with the armature and the two arms has the coil which carries the ac current and when the stylus moves the gap between the armature and the e stamping on either of the side gets changed or varied that's why the AC current also gets changed or varied so these coils where the AC current get changed or varied along with the resistors gets this carrier converted to modulated carrier here it is amplified and then it goes to the demodulator where the signal you will have now modulated and smoothened and in the recorder you can record with the pen recorder for future reference and also it gets filtered and you have filtered waveform so that you can have a reading directly which you can view directly so this is the working and construction of Taylor Hobson Pelliser please like, comment, share and subscribe thanks for watching